Hey guys, Chris here again with Interstate Guns. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video on concealment holsters. Uh, we get a lot of guys through the store uh, looking for a really good concealment option. Um, we typically carry uh, probably uh, three different manufacturers that, that we really like um, that fit pretty much the full spectrum. Um, on the appendix side, we carry a company uh, called Off The Grid Concepts. Uh, they are a custom Kydex manufacturer out of California. Um, their appendix holsters are awesome. We really like them. Uh, for the guys that like to carry outside the waistband, uh, we carry a company called Black Point Concealment. Uh, their leather wing holster is a very good option. Uh, it hugs the hip really tight. So if you're wearing an, uh, an overgarment, you can, you can flop that over the holster and the holster disappears. What's really cool about that holster also is you can replace the belt loops um, with uh, kind of C-clips, if you will. So if you want to go inside the waistband, um, kind of behind the hip carry with it, um, it's a dual purpose holster, so we sell a lot of those. And then another fan favorite would be the crossbreed. Uh, the crossbreed stuff, of course, is an inside the waistband only holster. Um, so what I've got today is a um, Off The Grid Concepts appendix carry holster. I prefer to carry the pistol in front of me for a host of different reasons. Um, I'm a small guy, um, you know, I don't have that, that Dunlap's disease as they call it, uh, so I, I can carry that way. Uh, my pistol of choice for carry is a Glock 19. Um, I do carry a Surefire uh, XC1, which is their new um, kind of micro light. Um, Site-wise, I put a set of uh, Trigicon HDs. Um, internals, I don't change any internals uh, on my carry gun. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna holster up. Um, uh, before we do that, I wanna talk about um, carrying an extra magazine. Um, in my never-ending quest for a magazine carrier, um, I've come across uh, this guy here from a company called Persec. Um, being a slim guy, slim in the waist, uh, it's kind of hard for me to put uh, a large frame gun and a magazine um, up front at the same time. Uh, but this guy from Persec, uh, I, I find works really well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and holster up. We're gonna get in the vehicle, um, and I'm gonna go through kind of a little uh, little draw demonstration, uh, show you how you uh, manipulate the gun when we're in the car. All right, one. All right, guys, we are holstered up and we are uh, in the vehicle. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is how I pretty much ride every day. Um, a lot of guys say, well, if you're carrying appendix, you know, how, how do you get to your gun with your seatbelt on? Well, it's simple. Um, all I do is I take my seatbelt, um, I just drape it um, kind of across my belly in between the, uh, the pistol itself um, and my body. Um, I've got pretty dark tinted windows, um, so I, I ride like this. Uh, a few guys that aren't rolling dark, um, what you can do is just simply kind of take your shirt um, and drape it over your stuff like this. Uh, that way, um, you know, the soccer mom pulls up next to you, you shouldn't get all freaked out um, by your gun. So let's talk about drawing. Um, the reason why I like to carry appendix is because it makes it, I find, the easiest to get to the gun. Um, I don't like having my gun off body. Um, if something happens, I get bumped, the gun's on the floor, I can't get to it. I don't like carrying behind me. Um, you know what happens, um, you know, kind of in a, in a little bump or an accident, you, you step on the brake, it locks that seatbelt down, it kind of makes it difficult to, to get behind you. So I like to carry in front of me. Um, so, um, you know, getting to the gun is fairly simple. Um, all you're doing is we're getting our shirt up and out of the way. We're gonna draw the pistol out. I like to come up kind of as high as I can. Um, and then so we're not flagging um, our appendages. Um, all we're gonna simply do is trace the steering wheel over um, to get the gun toward the threat. Um, I typically like to kind of get away from that threat also just be, so it doesn't become a struggle for the gun. Um, and I like to take my support hand. Um, you really don't need it on the gun at this point because you're working in such close proximity. But I like to get that support hand, I like to suck it into the middle of my chest uh, just so I know where that hand is um, and I'm, I'm not shooting myself. You know, I can use it to maybe block a blow if I have to. Um, so. Um, all we're going to do is simply draw the pistol. We're going to sink back a little bit. I like to kind of suck that support hand in somewhere. Um, you really don't need sights um, at, at this point. And all you're going to do is, is fire that, right, uh, that pistol. Um, you know, as you can see on that target there, we scored some pretty good hits just by orienting the pistol um, in that direction. So, uh, so that's what we've got. Um, you know, just quick holster view. Um, quick uh, you know how how I draw the gun um, cut, one more thing I do want to show you um, if for some reason um, you know I do have to get out of the vehicle um, the way I like to take my seatbelt off so that I don't I don't get stuck um, I like to kind of swim through the seatbelt kind of reach down hit that latch 
that way that seat belt is getting out of the way um, you know traditionally I think the, the method most people use is kind of this this overhand method you know if I go to exit the vehicle sometimes um, you know this hand might get hung up in, in, in the seat belt um, so I get into the habit I kind of swim through get down and initiate that buckle so just a quick overview on holsters um, guys uh, feel free to come in the shop and, and pick our brains um, on this concealment stuff uh, we, we do this stuff a lot we do it all day every day everything we've got in the store is hand-picked uh, and hand-picked for a reason you know af after we test this stuff in the field again I'm Chris with Interstate Guns uh, if you have any questions come by or give us a shout 985-340-1980 thanks